Well, it's kind of interesting some of the lessons you learn when you're out doing street ministry. Today, we were on the corner of a busy intersection near our Starbucks coffee shop where there's usually a lot of homeless people and panhandlers. And most of them are drug addicts. I mean, you can tell because their teeth are mostly missing from meth. And <laughs> today, there was a gal out there with us that she's been there for, gosh, at least two years that we know of. And of course, she gets upset when we come and stand, when we stand next to her with our gospel signs. But the interesting part about it is that uh, people will stop and give her money, and uh, it's, it's kind of in spite of us. They, they, they hate the gospel so much, they would support a drug addict over supporting the gospel. And uh, people actually get out of line from their Starbucks, uh, you know, they're in line to get their Starbucks coffee, and they'll call her over to give her money just in spite of us. Uh, pretty interesting. And uh, I mean, the first time we met her, she says, well, I'm just trying to make enough money so I can get certified as a nurse or something crazy like that. Well, this has been going on for at least two years since she told us that. And so you have to be a little bit discerning when you're out doing street ministry because a lot of these people, they can say the right words, they can pretend to be a Christian. Uh, they'll tell you they're saved, you know, and they can even, quote a few Bible verses, but then you begin to poke around and prod a little bit, and uh, next thing you know, they'll be cussing and carrying on, and they'll literally pitch a fit. So anyway, that's uh, some of the things we experienced today, and some of the lessons that we've learned over the years. Uh, take it for what it's worth. Uh, that's my two bits. You can keep the change. So the Bible tells us to be careful about casting our pearls to the swine. Being recorded, dude. So exactly. just be aware of that. Guess what? Explain. You got the Adam and Eve there. Adam and Eve. Really, really seriously. Adam and Eve. Does that bother you? <laughs> it is true. You know it. Everybody knows it. Is the Earth flat? Is the Earth flat? The, the, read the rest of the, the sign. Read, read, read the rest of the sign. On anything? Is there any proof to any of this shit? There is no proof to this. You need Jesus, and dude. And you're out here going against people. You're not doing you, Jesus no fucking favors. Man, you got a foul mouth, dude. I know, and you're an idiot, and you're an idiot. And this guy over here is an idiot. Huh. Every last one of you. And you're, you're a brilliant character, See that? Right? See that gal flipping you the bird? Who else wants to flip these fuckers off? Huh. And you're a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I like all of these people. I like religious people. Yeah. I just do not believe what they believe, and I don't believe they need to force it on everybody else. Well, this is America, dude. We have First Amendment rights. So. I know, and I do yeah. too. Yeah, well, more power to you. Yeah. And I would film you, but there's so frickin' many stupid assholes like you out here huh. that. Um, yeah, well, we'll be praying for you, man. Know that you were foretold in the Bible. Oh, yeah, I'm this guy that. I'm the devil, you know that? I am the fucking devil. No, you're just lost, dude. You're, lost. you're just lost. I'm lost yeah. You're lost. You're just a lost sinner. Lost. Yeah, you are. I just lost my mom. I just lost my wife. You're in bondage to sin, dude. Guys helped anyway. Is the earth 6,000 years old? Is it? I didn't say it was. The Bible says it is. No, it doesn't. Fuck yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Where does it say that? Um. Uh, it, go back your generations of assholes the book that you're making everybody well you you just don't hate, know what the book says hate fucking people that just love other people like these lgbqs oh i'm sorry i'm sorry, I'm sorry. yeah hands off dude okay, you're, gonna, sorry, you're gonna get sprayed in the I face i was just looking at this thing. yeah sure okay. you were of us left well, that me, believe this ancient fucking book. So, and what happened 2,022 years ago? What happened, Jesus? Yeah, and every day that you write his that date on a, on a check, you're acknowledging that he existed. And he shed his blood for your sins, man. If he was only a carpenter, it was only fiction. Oh, I'm not saying why, he was even a person. Why? I'm saying he was 10 different people. There was more than one Jesus back then. Sure the there world. was. You guys sure there was. Sure there was. Tell me something else that yeah. I can't. 
pretty cute right here. You, you don't have a clue, well, man. Good on you. Hey, look, when I brought my pepper spray up, he backed right on. Yeah. I could he, he got hold of Peggy's sign. She says, you touch me and you're going to get sprayed with pepper spray right in the face. He goes, oh. oh, oh.